all trades and today we are going on a monster day tour with Buzz. Why if I forget your name? Ah? Okay, don't worry. Ah. In case you forget my name, take a look at any public buses that is moving. That is me. Easy oh. to remember. So, we're going on a bus tour. Mm. A tour bus. Not exactly. It's tour with bus. We're going on a tour with bus. Right. Let's go. Okay. Come on. Move time. So, at some point in my life, I lived here in Lavender. But I've always wondered why it's called Lavender. So, when it comes to the word Lavender, mm. what is the first thing that comes into your mind? It smells very nice. Surprisingly enough, uh, it's actually the opposite of what the word is. Where we are right now is where vegetable farms used to be. Mm -hmm. And obviously, they need to use fertilizers, mm -hmm. right? So, what do they use as fertilizers was what we call as night soil, right? What is night soil? I don't tell you, I uh, Google can already. You know what I love about lavender is like there's the old, there's the new, and then there's the ultra new. Yep. How do you find like the information about these places? Our National Library Board mm. always prepares oh, good yeah. information about data itself. And then mm. number two, of course, my senior guides. Okay, yeah. I'm pretty sure they have guided this place way more than I am. Oh. And last but not least, I would try to speak to some of the locals right here because some of them might have grew up here for the longest time. And you said you grew up here, right? Has yep. this changed your perspective of this place, knowing about all this information? Yeah, definitely because I've been going to the mosque, okay, that we're mm. going to see in just in a little bit, uh, since I was like 12 years old. Mm. After I became a guide, mm. I knew about something that is very, very unique about the mosque itself. What is it? Okay, what is it? I'll show you in a bit. Hey, right, come forward. Oh yeah, you sing it. Yep. <laughs> Why is it like that? Huh? Okay, so before I get to that, just to share with you first, mm. okay, the name of the mosque is called Haja Fatima Mosque. Okay. And it was built way back in the year 1846. And if you take a look right in front, that is of course our famous beach road. Mm. So from the name itself, you can have an idea that that where it might be the shoreline used to oh. be. Okay, so due to moisture seepage, yeah. it causes that tower to lean about 6 degrees. So wow. that explains to why we have the Leaning Tower of Singapore. I have another question. Yep. Why is this place called Kampong Glam? I will answer that just at the next spot. Okay, ready to go? Yes. All right, let's go this way. So Kampong Glam mm -hmm. got its name from the tree right in front of us here. This tree? That's right. Feel free to touch it. Don't worry. Okay. Yeah. It's very papery. Alright, so you can feel for yourself that it's very different from the tree that you will usually see. Uh -huh. Back then, they made use of these papery bark mm -hmm. to repair boats. The timber is also a good source of firewood. Oh! Right. And last but not least, yes. okay, take a look above. You see those leaves? Mm -hmm. okay, have you heard of tea tree oil? Yes. Yep, and that's exactly the source of it. This tree makes leaves, leaves make for leaves tea tree oil. Tree tree oil. <laughs> so it's the glam tree lah! It's to make you look beautiful! <gasps> Dude, I didn't even know this place existed. You know, in Penang, they yep. have Georgetown, right? That's and right, it's yeah. It's sort of like that, but it's such a back alley, I wouldn't have like guessed to go yeah, come that's, here. So you can see over here, the back alley, you can see all these beautiful Painting. Amazing. Yeah. They decide to make use of these back, back walls mm -hmm. or back alley. Mm -hmm. uh, get our artists here in Singapore mm -hmm. to showcase their skills. Any point of time you want to take an Instagram shot, feel free. Dude, you can help me take For oh, sure. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Okay? You take a selfie. Selfie. One, two, three. Take a look one of our icon for Singapore when it comes to Kampung Glam itself. Just to share a little bit about this mosque itself, mm -hmm. obviously it's called Sultan Mosque and mm -hmm. this was built back in the year 1930s. Have you visited Taj Mahal before? No, uh, one day, one day. Okay, just like me, okay, I'm pretty sure we have seen it either on documentary shows mm -hmm. or even Google, right? So this is actually one of the um, inspiration design from Taj Mahal itself. If you take a look at that gold dome, just right yes. above, okay, underneath the gold dome, there's the black section. What do you think is the material, okay, that is being used for the black section? Marble. Nope. Black gold. Nope. Snake skin. <laughs> uh, definitely not. That is actually made up of glass bottles. 
No way! Yep, back then, all these houses used to be filled up with people living in it. So mm. some of them are wealthy businessmen where okay. they can afford to give in terms of monetary-wise, ah, right? Okay. But there are also people who can't really you know, donate in terms of money, mm. but they would like to do their part for it. So oh. that's when there are plenty of these, you know, Mighty Bee Soy Sauce, Coca-Cola right, bottles and all that, right. and decide to donate it to be part of the design of the mosque. Oh, that's lovely! Yeah. It's amazing, you know, because we have the Leaning Tower of Singapore, yes. <laughs> we have the Georgetown of Singapore, right. and we have the uh, Taj Mahal wow. of Singapore. That's right! <laughs> yeah. Why we even need to leave the country? We have everything here. True. <laughs> Let's go to the Eiffel Tower of Singapore. Uh, not that I can think of right now. <laughs> Yeah. I think just, just we go. Yeah? Okay. There? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so what do you like to share about Tiong Baru to your um, tour groups? Before we get into that, just to quickly ask you, do you know what does Tiong Baru means? No. Tiong Baru actually consists of two different words, mm. okay, which is Tiong is a Hokkien word that means cemetery. Okay, oh, and of course, okay. uh, when it comes to baru, yes, okay, it's a Malay word that means yes. new. So if you ah. combine it together, it literally means new, new cemetery. Okay. Okay. All right. So of course, another thing that I always love to promote about Tiong Baru to yeah. tourists uh, is of course the beautiful murals that we have right oh. here, which right in front of us we can see one. They are just laying back, showing the old lifestyle of what, yeah. you no know, bird singing, bird competition used Kopi, to be. Kopi, kaya toast, kaya toast a perfect way. <laughs> Classic vintage Singapore. That's right, that's right. I yeah. mean, obviously Singapore changes very, very quickly. Do you think Tiong Bahru is like a good reflection of that? I definitely would say yes, because mm. what you can see for yourself, we are now surrounded by uh, some of the oldest, what we call as the public housing flats, yeah. okay, mm. and some of them were built as early as 1940s. Wow. So even though they were built way back in 1940, you yeah. can still, still retaining, but what is different, the ground level shops, some mm. of it have been converted into our hipster cafe. Oh my gosh, yeah. that's exactly why I come to Tiong Baru, man. This yes. is one thing I missed since the circuit breaker. Yep. <laughs> So, how did you react when you first heard about the circuit breaker? Well, definitely was something that is, you know, shocking to me as well. Because I think in January, when we, you know, heard about all that, I would say that uh, my tours were still having a good number. Oh yeah? Yeah, but in March, mm. that's when uh, a lot of, you know, control of borders and all the restrictions and all that, that's when I knew situation are going to change. So, how were you uh, affected then? Among the team, you were saying, okay, let's give till the end of a March, mm. right, and we'll see how the numbers are. But yeah. to our surprise, within a week, the numbers dropped down more wow. than about 90 to 95 wow. percent. And that's when I knew that you know what, things are gonna come even faster, and I have to do yeah. things and, and, and change. So, yeah. how then have you adapted since then? So, guess what? Right now, no choice. So, what I'm doing, I'm doing delivery. Very yeah. smart. <laughs> yeah. Very smart because now everybody needs a delivery. That's guy right, because everyone is staying yeah. home, right? Yeah, so, exactly. I knew Never. that you know, going into delivery, it would somehow oh. help me to tide over. Mm. Okay, especially with a, with a kid, with a wife, uh, family, and all that. I needed to do something. What do you think is the future of um, the tourism industry then? For the future of the tourism itself, it's going to be something that is going to be very different. Mm. People would most likely think twice before going on a group tour. So yeah. one of the things that we are testing mm -hmm. okay, is doing virtual tours. Mm. Second one is that we can also expect that car tours are going to pick up even more. People are much more comfortable to be just within themselves. Mm. So we can expect to work maybe on tours, car tours as well mm. in the near future. Yeah, just like over here, another beautiful mural for you. Okay, just to share with you quickly, yeah. this mural is done by an artist called Yip Yu Chong. Mm -hmm. And whenever he does a particular artwork, it's always a good memory of what he used to experience. Right. So take a look at the date. What is it written? Wow, January 1985? Five. And that is when, wow. most likely, that this actual scene was taken right here in Tiong Bahru. Right, and of course, if you were to relate to what we're having right now, how much do we miss dining in together? Yeah, right? No Stay. social distancing, That's no right. face masks. Correct. This is what, again, we take sometimes things for granted. And yeah. to be honest, uh, doing tours is something that I really miss most because why? Looking back at all this, is, it definitely brings back good memories for all of us. We learn a little bit of our history. We learn how much change has happened yeah. and we see how we are now and how we have um, built upon like the shop houses, you know, and, and turned it into hipster cafes right, yeah. for the modern Singaporean. Of course, I hope, you know, 
Uh, through this walkabout with me, you are able to learn a little bit more about our very own country. We might be passing that particular spot every single week, every mm. single day. But all this nitty gritty information is something that you know we should all you know learn about as well. There's a lot more heritage that you can you know maybe you, your partner, your family and friends can come together. Once everything you know settles down, mm. feel free to walk about. There's a lot more for you to venture. Mm.